Good afternoon. I'm Major Philip T. Rusi, Troop Commander of Troop D. I'm here today to announce that the New York State Police will participate in a special traffic enforcement initiative crackdown on, uh, looking for unsafe drivers this holiday weekend. Now, this special initiative starts today, Wednesday, November 27th, and it will run to Sunday, December 1st. We will have extra patrols out looking for drunk and drugged drivers. This year, we are dedicating our efforts in the memory of Connor Linsky. Connor was an 18-year-old young man who on August 11th, 2018, he attended the Jason Aldean concert at Darien Lake. He was walking back to his campsite when he was hit and struck and killed by a drunk driver who left the scene and fled the scene. You know, about a half hour later, this drunk driver almost ran into a Genesee County Sheriff officer. That officer pulled her over, arrested her, processed her uh, for DWI, and she was released. He, at that time, he did not know that she was in a hit and run fatal accident earlier in the night. Ultimately, she, uh, she was located, and we found out that she did hit uh, Connor earlier in the night. She was arrested and ultimately convicted of vehicle manslaughter, leaving the scene of a fatal incident, driving while intoxicated, and aggravated unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle, and sentenced to four and two third years to 14 years in state prison. I am honored today to have Connor's mother, Donna, father, Mike, brother, Mike, and sister, Megan, and along with some family, friends, and other family members here today. Along with Rachel uh, Browngar, uh, the statewide coordinator of Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. Connor's parents, family, and friends that are here today, they put a face on the consequences of what happens when people drink and drive. Yes, the person who killed their son, brother, friend, was uh, uh, brought to justice. Uh, she was convicted of DWI, manslaughter. Uh, justice was brought to her and is now in prison. But that didn't bring Connor back. And it doesn't fill the hole that they have in their heart. So if my troopers needed a little more incentive, motivation to aggressively enforce the vehicle and traffic laws, the DWI laws on the state of New York, it's in this room today. So thank you for coming. If there's any questions you have about the initiative, I'm happy to answer those. Is there any county you're uh, hearing your focus to major, any county in particular, or is it going to be pretty No, Troop D uh, entails the seven counties of central New York, from Herker, Herkimer, Madison, Oneida, Onondaga, Lewis, and Jefferson, and Oswego. So all seven counties uh, will be out there enforcing it. Uh, again, we're going to have fixed traffic posts. Obviously, we can't have fixed traffic points everywhere, but you're not going to know where those traffic points are. We're going to have extra patrols out there roving, just looking for drunk and drug drivers. So again, obviously I'm not going to tip my hat on where these are specifically going to be, but, uh, and Troop D is doing it, and every troop across the state is doing it. So this is a statewide initiative. Yes? Do you have any advice for travelers and citizens to just, is there anything that they can do on their part to kind of help eliminate No, obviously the state police are not against having a good time going out there and celebrating the holiday season with family and friends. But if, you, if drinking is part of that, uh, have a plan. Uh, either uh, have a designated driver, call an Uber, call a taxi. Uh, just have a plan before you go out so a, a family such as this won't have a tragedy to live with for the rest of their life. Have you already started this today? Or is that going to yes, it started Sunday? today and runs through Sunday. So I know it's early, but so far today, do you have any, um, I mean, have things been well on the road 
incidents or? It, it, nothing major uh, incidents have happened on the road so far today. Uh, you know, the weather has been nice to us around here, so uh, no weather-related incidents or anything. But uh, again, uh, this initiative starts today and runs through Sunday. Yes. Now, forgive me, I'm a little new to the area, but will this be an initiative that will take place um, in the years to come? Yes. Every day, uh, holiday uh, season, we, we uh, put out extra patrols to enforce the vehicle and traffic laws for unsafe driving, uh, drunk and drug drivers, aggressive driving, and move over laws, things like that. Because during, everyone knows today's Wednesday, that before Thanksgiving, is one of the heaviest travel days in, uh, in the country. So there's a lot of people out on the roads. So we want everyone to get to their homes and their family and friends to celebrate this holiday season. Maybe difficult to answer. Um, we typically see a spike in UWIs over the Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know if Matt's efforts have declined that spike over the years. Uh, again, yes. I mean, I think last year we had between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there was uh, well over a thousand uh, DWIs, but fatals. Uh, so the, the, again, it's a, uh, the holiday season, there's parties, family gatherings, such as that, and uh, alcohol plays a part in those uh, gatherings. But again, it doesn't mean you have to get behind the wheel of a car and, and drive after you had the, those drinks. Uh, again, uh, have a plan. Uh, don't get behind the wheels after drinking. It, it's not worth it. Uh, the cost financially to you is you know over ten thousand dollars, but that's nothing, you know, uh, compared to uh, taking a life. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to have a family, if you want to do some one-on-ones.